We're here at the barn sanctuary with my best friend Dan McKernan, who has rescued many animals here in Michigan and uh, continues to do so. And these are Nigerian dwarf, dwarf goats. <laughs> and they're freaking adorable, yes. as you can see. And I'm gonna pet them. Yep, and they're only about uh, a couple months old. Ellen here is the oldest. Then I believe you got Portia there, and then Twitch here. Named after the Ellen show. <laughs> Porsche's the sassy one. So sassy. <laughs> what? The farm's been in my family for about 140 years. May 2016, I converted it to a farm animal sanctuary where we rescue farm animals from cases of abuse, neglect, uh, the corporate food industry, and stuff like that. Let's go check them out. You're a better person than most. All right. <laughs> Yeah, so I got a call about Ellen uh, from a local farmer because she had deformed legs and they didn't think she was going to make it. And, and she made it. All she needed was some warmth and some love and care. And I took her up to MSU and she did fine. All the animals here are just so curious and want to want to come say hi. I mean, if you treat another living being with love and respect, they'll do the same. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Like I said, most perfect of timing. The time. <laughs> most of the time. Yeah. Um, for large pigs, you don't want to get on their bad side. If they yeah. don't want to be around, you'll kind of know it, and you're like, all right, you need time and space. And just like know. people. Yeah, you just gotta respect them. Do you think that more people will start to consider these animals as actual pets, like they do cats and dogs, oh, seeing how they? A hundred and ten percent. I mean, some of the content I upload to the internet on our Facebook is me like interacting with the animals, like. A lot of people don't understand that cows, they'll lean their head on your shoulder when they really appreciate you. They understand that these animals are compassionate and that they feel. Um, all that stuff's been behind closed doors. So we don't feed any of our animals grain. We give them hay and grass to feed on. Um, Cause that's what they want, you know? And currently we're only using seven acres of our, of our property and we currently have 70 in total. Wow. So uh, we plan on building cow barns, goat and sheep barns, a pig barn, duck barn. Each species is going to have their own barn and they'll be able to come and interact in a central pasture. So, And it's all based around donations? Yeah, we're in entirely donation based. So wow. uh, and people love animals and they love seeing them in a, in a different light. Uh, it's pretty cool to see farm animals not on a dinner plate. It's cool to see them happy and in, in, in a natural environment where they can enjoy themselves and live out their full life, naturally full life. Um, like our donkeys here are over 25 years old too. Um, they've seen some shit. Yeah, they've seen some real shit. Yeah. <laughs>